welcome back to another video if you are new to my channel my name is fatima or fatima to interrupt but i'm coming in here saying that i'm doing a giveaway if you guys haven't watched my last video go and watch it i'm doing a um starbucks gift card giveaway so go and enter you guys oh it's at the beginning of the vlog so you guys could go and enter okay okay so back to the video so for today's video since you guys really liked my make orders with me for the chile strawberries i decided to make this other one but this is gonna be um chocolate covered strawberries but they have a little twist to it they're gonna be like mexican chocolate covered strawberries you guys saw from the thumbnail the picture those strawberries i'm gonna be making so yeah i'm gonna be making those for this video i'm gonna bring you guys along with me so if you want to know how i'm gonna be doing them just keep on watching right here is where i keep all my strawberry things so if you guys want to make chocolate covered strawberries i suggest for you to get this chocolate this is the best chocolate i've tried it dries like matte and it's just so pretty and it's really good and this one this is the white one this one it's just so good it tastes just like a white chocolate bar i recommend these these are like six dollars a bag i think six or seven dollars they are like a little bit more pricey of a chocolate but they are really really good Let's start by rinsing some strawberries So let me tell you so i do not put salt or anything in the water i just leave it like just the water itself i don't know i feel like that works the same as if i put salt so that's why i don't put anything just waters so i let the strawberries rinse for like 10 minutes and then i take them out during well it's during those 10 minutes i normally um start melting chocolates and like I tell you guys, these are the good chocolates. These are my good chocolates. So when I'm like practicing a strawberry, because I do practice them before I like post a picture of them and stuff, I like to use the candy melt. I use these to practice with. Like say I'm going to do a milk chocolate one. I go with this one. This is like cocoa. It's like the same brown kind of color. So I typically go to these to practice. Or these white ones that I have too instead of using these. Because these are the good ones. I use them for like an actual order. I you guys little stuff here and there throughout the video about how I do these chocolates and stuff. But my little business. So. so I do melt my chocolate on the stove. I know a lot of people do it in the microwave. But um, I don't know. I feel more comfortable in the stove. Because that's how I started doing this. So here's the stove. I put the put El Fuego Bien Bajito. You're supposed to put a bien bajito, like that much. And then I grab a pot and fill it up with water. Not all the way, but like halfway. And then I put it in the stove. And then I wait until the water gets not boiling. I forgot the word for it. I'll put it on the screen. But until it starts having bubbles and kind of like um, steam comes up, that's when I start melting the chocolate. So to put the actual chocolate, I use this, um, the vidrio. <clears throat> you need something like this to use it on the stove for to melt the chocolate. So for the strawberries, I'm first going to start with the um, paleta payaso one. So we're going to focus on that one and then we'll move on to another one. So I'm going to be using this one, the one I showed you guys. I saw these because there's no other way of knowing how much you need. So I think I'm going to be making for the payaso. So I think, nah, it's too much. So I think maybe like that much. So this is how much I'm going to be melting for four strawberries. Mejor tener más que poquito, okay? So these are ready. I did do this in the morning. I'll put the clip of me doing this right now. I normally do dip, uh, dip. I melt my chocolate in the stove when I'm gonna dip the strawberries, but this is not to dip, you know, I'm just like making shapes with this. So I don't mind putting it in the microwave. Did these, these are the eyes for the payaso. Yeah, I'm gonna just finish up this with the chocolate and hopefully they turn out good. <laughs> 
So they're all types of sizes. This is like the mouth for the payaso. And these are the eyes. <laughs> so I'm gonna be um, drying these strawberries now. And I just go like this. I mean, I don't have It's really easy to take them out. You just kind of pull it, but not too hard because then you'll break it. This is how much I was able to save of the mouth. All these like broke. Okay, so the water so the water is ready. You guys see it has little bubbles. I don't know if the, you're gonna be able to see it, but cuando ya empiece a salir humo. For the first like minute, it doesn't do anything. It stays the same because it's still starting to. But after that, it starts melting, and you have to um, swirl it until it's fully melted. You cannot move from the stove. You have to be moving it and moving it. Yo uso esta spatula que es de de kiss. I don't know what this is made of. I forgot the name of it, but I dry it. And this is what I stirred it with. You have to use these type. If you use a normal spoon, it's gonna ruin the chocolate. So use these. They have them at Walmart. I have this one from Dollar Tree. And I use to put the chocolate in it after it melts. So look, I think now it's slowly starting to, you guys can see like it leaves a little stain thingy so it is starting to melt now so you just gotta move it and move it until it's fully melted Took out the chocolate. I put it under this napkin. I like clear the, how is it? The smoke. Not smoke. And I like to bring the whole chocolate to the bottom. I let the chocolate sit for like a minute or two, so it could cool down. And then that's when I start dipping the chocolate after. So my eyes started to get really watery, so that's why I have on my glasses. I don't know, they were really watery for no reason. Bake it so it could get like smoothie, smoothie, <laughs> smooth. I kind of move it a little bit more. And now it's ready to start dipping these strawberries. So I, so I put the stick in. You gotta be careful with this because. Uh, okay, there you go. I kind of move the chocolate to this side. So it'll be easier to get all of the strawberry. Yeah, so I'm just gonna dip it. We have to shake it so the excess chocolate comes out. But yeah, move it from one side to the other until there's no more chocolate left over. Oh, actually, you could just do this and it gets extra chocolate off. So now I'm gonna put it on the plate. There you go. And I'm gonna be putting the eyes for the payaso. And this is how it looks. I had to put it on fast before the strawberries start to dry, but this is my first attempt, you guys. So it's not that bad. I don't think it's that bad. Okay guys, so yeah, I'm done with these. This is how they turned out. They're not that bad. I actually like them. This is the first one that I made. I think this is the one that looks the best. I don't know. But yeah, what do you guys think? I think I did a really good job. I try to cover the whole strawberry. I am trying to work on that, trying to cover the whole strawberry. So I'm gonna be doing the same steps. I put the fire low and now the water. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be doing the wedding one. So I'm not gonna be doing the three colors. I'm gonna be doing the one with pink and brown. So I'm gonna be melting the pink one first. So I'm gonna use these. This is bright pink from the candy melt. I'm actually gonna be mixing it with white so it's not as bright pink. I don't know, honestly you guys, I don't like this bright pink color. Because when I put a bunch of strawberries to rinse, 
they get kind of not ugly but kind of ugly i don't know how to explain it but before i used to rinse them all like the whole little like uh, the whole thing and then put them back in the tray but no i am not gonna do that no more because they get ugly they do get ugly i feel like they don't last as long i don't know if that's just me but yeah I rinse them as i use them as i need those the water for it to zizzle that's the word i'm using zizzle that's not the word i'll put the word on the screen i don't know i forgot the word but <clears throat> it takes like 10 ish minutes for it so how i'm gonna be doing the duvalin ones i'm out the pink one I'm dipping like half of it like this in the line i'm gonna dip one side pink let it dry melt the brown one and then by that time that the other chocolate's melted, it's gonna be dry, so then I'm able to do the other side. Hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. It's gonna be like this. So here is the pink melted, and I like this shade of pink way better. Shake it. And a I'm about to do the other one. Oh yeah guys, another like tip that I have for you. Um, go wash your hands and then come back and keep melting the chocolate. Make sure to dry your hands because a little drop of water from like your hands, if you don't dry them, it ruins the chocolate. It ruins it bad and like there's no going back. That happened to me, I think yesterday. I was wanting some chocolate. I went to wash my hands and I got dried them, but not completely. And like a drop of water went in the chocolate and it ruined it. <laughs> so that is a little tip for you. So yeah, it's the littlest things that can make the chocolate ruin. So this chocolate is ready. So turn off the stove, grab it like this. Make sure to clean the thing that you use so i'm gonna be dipping this breast with the brown chocolate i'm gonna like tilt it like this i'm gonna just dip it uh, away 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. oh my god <laughs> like smooth it You guys, I am done. There's the um, balatapayas, the chile, and the duvalines. So I'm about to put them in the box and take a picture and show you guys how it looks, the presentation. Okay, guys, so these are the boxes that hold up to 12. That are I got these off Amazon. I'll leave the link down below if you guys are interested in buying some boxes. And I also do have actual duvalines to decorate it with and these for the chile ones and i also have these but this is for something else so it's looking like it's super cute the lucas i'm also gonna put the little thingy that comes with and here's how it looks outside you guys it looks super cute i really like it i put it on the grass take pictures on the grass Hi guys, I am ending this video out. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want more, let me know and I will for sure do more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and below if you haven't. And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye-bye.